polymers because we're going to have all the rare metals we can handle. So you can all just be decomposed into polymers. Oh, nice. Look. It's doing it. Excellent. Excellent. Hello everyone, the Ranks is here, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, episode 16, where we have some Earthsick colonists. Um, they got really upset over an unprepared meal, and then let's see, we had the meteor shower, or the meteor shower is incoming, has not happened yet, and then we also had vacant work slots. We also have this cold wave, this permanent cold wave happening because of these spheres that we have trapped. And we're currently outsourcing research um, and sending lots of electricity back to Earth um, in an attempt to figure out how to deal with this. Let's go ahead and put a universal storage here. And then I want this dome actually connected to the power. Um, and it's going to need pipes. And of course, oh, it can go right over the storage. Look at that. That's killer. Boom. There we go. Pipes connected. Mm, that should be manageable. And then, of course, from here... We'll just do that, which means that we can officially salvage this bit of cable here like this. And then why not? We'll go ahead and we'll attach the piping to it as well for now, because we're going to be extracting water out of here eventually. Look at that medium dome getting built. Not like we don't have the concrete. We sure do. Hey, five colonists are earth sick. Did we somehow make them not so upset anymore? That's good. Sanity. Who's got low sanity? Somebody's working nights. I can tell. Ah, you are. You're done. No more night shift for anyone. Good deal. Meteor shower. Let's see where it's at. I'm guessing it's not anywhere we are yet, or we'd be notified. Oh, it's up here. And we might get some impacts on our infrastructure. Looks a little isolated, though. Let's get our explorers up here so that we can get research uh, credit as it drops. What would help us at this point? Probably another rocket with more food. That way we can load up on food over here. Um, then we'll take a rocket with polymers. Uh, just 10. And then we're going to launch another rocket with just 10 polymers. Because we have so much fuel and so many rare metals. That sort of makes me want to do the orbital engineering space elevator. Exports rare metals to Earth and offers resupply materials and prefabs at preferential prices. Mmm, that seems... Seems kind of good. Seems kind of good. But then again, so does interpla interplanetary astronomy with its breakthroughs. I don't know. I'm okay sending the rockets back and forth for now. I think we'll leave that as is. We're really just doing good on everything. Let's check on our research. 77%, that's good. Rockets inbound. So we'll start with this dome here. And then I think also what we're going to need... we we'll need more oxygen tanks. I think that's, that's an important thing. Let's 
two, three. And then this is where the deep water is. So I actually want... Um, yeah, it'll lack the technology to exploit the resource. Oh, it won't even let me place it. Oh, I, that, that's fair. That's fair. That makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and get a subsurface heater. That's what we can do. Something like that, right? So then we'll just go from here to there. And from here to there. And then what we'll do is we'll also put some water towers up here. Like there and there. That'll work. That'll look good. And we're getting our concrete shipped over here, so we should be good to go here pretty soon. Although we have a lot of concrete over there, so I'm not sure what the holdup is, except the drone load is heavy. That makes sense. There's the RC rover. You're just kind of down out of the way, not really doing anything. Why don't you kind of act as an intermediary, maybe? We have plenty of water. We could even make more fuel. Which, that might be a thing. Cold and frozen. And boom, and the dome comes online. Boom. And there and there's your water shortage. Okay, so with that water shortage, we're looking at oh, a decimal decrease from the towers. That's fine. And that one's going to run out. So what we can do is we can uh, tap into our near limitless um water power we might need another moxie generator soon too actually i probably should just do all of that over here to be totally fair let's let's put one of these in place why not um now that being said We can do that. Research complete. Xeno terraforming. Mm, the spheres have started terraforming Mars. Okay. So let's see here what we have. Um, turn into metals, into rare metals, or into polymers. I guess turn into polymers. All right, and uh, let's see. You can turn into polymers, and you can turn into polymers, because we're going to have all the rare metals we can handle, so you can all just be decomposed into polymers. Oh, nice. Look. It's doing it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, 150 food. Let's drop it off over here. These guys are going to need a head start for their food anyways. Um, for storage over here, we're going to put a, few, a food depot just so the shuttles have a place where they know they need to drop stuff off. Um, what's the other one? Are departing. Ten, ten polymers, that's okay. And then this one is also ten polymers. Yeah, we'll take that one over here as well. All right, and you are active, and you could be accelerated. Sure. Might as well. There's no reason not to accelerate you at this point. Because we have so much extra power. What's the water left? Oh, there's quite a bit of water left. Go ahead. You can be accelerated. And so can you. No anomalies yet. A little stingy with that. That's okay. Colonists departing Mars. Well, we only have two Earthsick colonists left. Look at this dome. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm thinking we need some... Uh, a smart complex. 
versus the apartments. Residents will recover sanity when resting. Let's start with two, and then we'll make one... Oh, we don't have room for a Hawking Institute. Humanity applied its Ooh. knowledge of an alien technology for the first time ever. And it was a complete success. The sphere is converted back to its previous ingredients. Our scientists are quick to inform us that any sphere free from our decoy buildings will roll back to its splitting phase and will most probably try to retrieve the critical amount needed for their collective purpose. We feel we have gathered enough information about these spheres. It's been deemed that decomposing all the spheres is our best road of action. We've dismantled the nice. last sphere. Yet our unease with the alien technology still lingers. Okay. Our scientists are confident that we have recorded and gathered all data necessary for making sense of this encounter in the coming decades. Also, they are confident that the spheres themselves had overstayed their welcome. Keeping them around would have meant living with their ever-present danger of reactivating the endless cold wave once more and caused harm to our colony as they did before. And despite the risks, despite the purely pragmatic reasons for destroying all the spheres, one can't help but wonder how the generations to come will feel of this deed. Will we go down in history as cowards, or maybe as too insensitive to the magnitude of the encounter? The very first non-man-made technology ever found? When our scientists give up on trying to determine the origin of these spheres, will textbooks mention that because of the rash actions and fears of the few pioneers that lived on Mars at the time, the riddle will never be solved? No more spheres are left? Gained a new technology, large-scale excavation. Research complete. Um, neat. Uh, so let's look at what that looks like large-scale excavation we already have that oh oh it researched it for us produces concrete directly from the Martian soil that does sound fun hmm okay I'm thinking that this research lab though needs to move that we're actually going to shut it down. And instead... Let's put in... Another diner, right? Oh, no, no, no. Remove, remove this. Come on. I'll give you guys another diner. There you go. There's a lot of you living there. It'll be okay. As for this dome, look at this dome. Oh, yeah. Cold wave approaching. And now we get another cold wave. That's okay. How's the farm doing? Fruit trees, fruit trees, fruit trees. We'll just keep the fruit trees going. Our food is looking good for now. These are going to take time to get loaded up over here, except... Nope. These are good. Good good. So once this gets repaired with some machine parts, which it should be in range, and it is, then it'll start producing, much like this one. Um, yeah, you know what? A deep deposit. We'll go ahead and upgrade that one. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this heavy deposit as well. That's the very high deposit. It's already been upgraded. The deep one's been upgraded, and... Even the shallow one we upgraded. Okay, that's fair. Look at that power surplus. Boom. So much power. In fact, at this point, we're going to start salvaging turbines. Heck, at this point, I think we should start salvaging solar panels too. It's just a, a tremendous waste at this point. If we do that sun thing, maybe we could do more solar panels. I don't know if we'll need to, though. Hmm. 
nope, we don't need the power. We just don't. It's using up metal and machine parts that we don't need to use up. There you go. Nope, same thing. Salvage all these. There, that'll do it. All right, let's connect these back to the power grid. You need to be connected there. You need to be connected there. Yep, and then the wind turbine as well. Good, 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 good. Less materials used up for no good reason. No good reason at all. Um, now, we did put down a rare metal deposit area. We did. Okay. And these got upgraded. They did. Wow, we're depositing so many rare metals so fast. Things are starting to look good. And we're researching the Martian Institute of Science right now. So let's go ahead and... I feel pretty safe to say that people here are going to need a grocer. Um, could keep with the smart complexes for now. Right, so then we're going to need a... Are we are we going to be able to do 12 times 6 at 72? That's 72 people. Research lab employs 9. The Hawking Institute, we don't know how many that employs. Same with the network node. I'd like it if this building could... If this dome could just be mostly research... Um, okay, well, let's put in some research labs, because we can. Um, and I think they're going to be best positioned sort of here, in these areas. There's going to be some some uh, collaboration loss, with there being three of them, but that's okay. So nine times three, that's, that's 27. Hmm... This could be tough. This could be tough. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, grocer and diner, though, is pretty easy. Um, so this colony is going to prefer scientists. Yep. Um, but it's not going to prefer seniors or children. No unemployment, no vacant workplaces, because there's nowhere set up here for people to work. Look at all those polymers we have. Now we just need to keep the electronics going. And these rockets are almost ready for departure. Wow, look at our rare metals. Could almost buy another rocket. Fuel's keeping up, too. We've got to do the orbital engineering first, right? I feel like that's... <clears throat> We've got the new Megadome. Nope, let's keep going with the Institute of Science. I think we'll do that and then that. All right, we'll be able to launch these rockets pretty soon with the rare metals back. And this should help us get our research going. Might not be... Uh... I want to design this dome to run around the clock. So my thought was if everybody has smart homes, smart complexes, then... Oh, people are planning on moving in. Then if that's the case... Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. 
I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. Put a fuel refinery there because I want a shuttle hub here. So colonists can travel where they need to go. All right, we'll get the lab stood up over here. We'll take a lot of electronics. And they're refueling as well. Okay, well we can put a fuel depot storage here. That's acceptable. We've already got our upgrades on our electronics factory. We can upgrade fuel refineries for easy fuel production. Oh my. Doesn't cost any power, just costs materials. That's pretty good. I kind of like that. Hmm. We might need to make more fuel over here. Well, we are going to make this one. Okay, that's fine. That's acceptable. Get these rockets fueled up and ready to go back. We've got a surplus on everything, which is nice. And having this much power effectively means the cold waves are not a problem. So it still means our worst disaster is going to be a dust storm. We'll have to see how we handle it. We can always put another water tower or two over here. So we're not getting the concrete over here? I don't understand. No, because the concrete storage is just on the other side. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and destroy that, and we'll change it to Concrete Depot here. Yeah, hey, what do you think about that? Global load is medium. Alright, so is somebody going to ferry that concrete over here? We need more drones. Yeah, we need we need drone yeah, we need drone prefab stuff. Vacant work slots eight. About over here. How are you guys doing? Unemployed five, vacant residential slots eighteen. Um How big is the don't we have a thing where we can make drones? Yes. For only 3,000. Okay, well let's let's research, research complete. our Hawking Institute. Very good. And now we're going to do drone printing next. Because I have a feeling we'll be able to do that here. Depending on how big it is. I'm not sure, but we're going to try. Food is stockpiling up, so that's good. We can always move the farm to the... Mm, I don't want to move it to the medium-sized dome, though. Oop. Extractor depleted. You can be done. We're going to need more concrete. Hmm. There's a little bit over here. There's some over here. Neither one's really inside the uh, the drone area. You can request an upgrade. Yeah, we might as well amplify them as well. There's no reason not to. We we have lots of polymers and lots of excess power. Yeah, for all fuel refineries, please. Thank you. We're going to build three new shuttles as well. And then when you guys go back...
we'll wait till you get fueled up. We'll send you back, and then we'll just request some electronics. Ugh. You, scientists are working at the grocer in the diner? No, don't do that. Come on. Come on. Really? Okay, we're doing that drone printing pretty quick. Let's look at the Institute, Hawking Institute, 24 workers. Okay, well, I'll tell you right now, these smart complexes aren't going to stay. means we're going to lose electronics. That's fine. We'll get some of it back. It was a bit of a waste. I had no idea the Hawking Institute was going to require so many workers, though. We're just going to have to make this dome nice in other ways. Is all there is to it. All right, kick you guys out, kick you guys out. No, I want two shifts running. Two shifts, please. Cancel, cancel. Priority, priority. Homeless, I know, we're gonna get them a home here in just a second. Shuttles are going. Ooh, global load is heavy. Yikes. Um. Probably should have let the apartments get built before I destroyed all of them. Ah. <laughs> Who care? It's just that's part of it's part of Mars living. You know, it really is. All right. Are we going to do one of them? Maybe this one? This one's a priority three. Still eight people homeless. No, the priority three is here. Um, we, We're not in range of the concrete, are we? Maybe we can change to go here. Oh, that's that is within range of the concrete. Is that I think that I think that is. I think they can help now. Thank goodness. How are we doing here? You're ready, that means you're all ready. Good stuff. Bring some electronics back. Make some drones, and then we'll do that one. Perfect. Okay, we're still doing good with the research. Fueled extractors could be cool. I meant to do the dome streamlining before I built this dome, but we had the resources. It's not a huge deal. Tons of rare metals. We'll absolutely be building another rocket. Um, we'll need electronics. Concrete seems to be going down, though. Resources are low. We might actually have to go with Waste Rock Liquefaction. Hmm. That would certainly help. Would certainly help a lot. Hey, nobody's homeless anymore. Look at that. Hehehe. <laughs> So nobody's really, um, oh, wait, wait. Got six seniors here, but we said no seniors Research here. Complete. Seniors are supposed to go to the luxury dome. Yeah, here. 
Oh, there's not enough places to live. Look at all those kids. Wow. Um, okay. That's fine. Jeez, that's a lot of that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. Geologists? Where do we need 42 geologists? There's an extractor somewhere still looking for people, I guarantee it. Hold on. Yep. Cancel. Cancel. That's going to mess up all of our training stuff, too. Um, that was pretty good. Yep, you need to be. So they all need to be, like, recanceled. Unemployed nine, homeless two. Yikes. I don't know what else to do. Ten engineers, 19 scientists. That sounds more accurate to what we need. Okay, this area has tons of food. And we're making good electronics. So we're just going to let it roll for now. Concrete, though, is a concern. We have an average one up here. Um, hmm. Because if we had the waste rock liquefaction, we'd get a lot of concrete just from that. Funding received. We also have the deep excavation tech, which we got from the... Let's see what that would look like, actually. Hold on. The excavator. Using advanced extraction technology allows for production of concrete directly from the Martian soil without the requirement for a deposit. I think that is pretty good, actually. And I think this is probably just the place to set it up. Right over here, kind of where the concrete was already being gathered. That'll work. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and build it, and then we'll queue up the wires to interface there. Perfect. All right, and that's where we're going to wrap up the episode. This has been Surviving Mars, episode 16. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. So please join me next time as we start to get our research dome up and running and ship some more electronics back to Mars from Earth. But until next time, take care.